And I know there's going to be some people who are going to say or think, well, that's just a coincidence. Why are you making a video about it? It's not a big deal. But for me, these coincidences, which I don't believe in, happen to me a lot, like a lot. And I'm practicing this daily with setting intentions and with manifesting. And it just is quick a lot of times. So find a way to Hello beautiful beings of light, my name is Monica. Today's video is titled, This is why you must be specific whenever manifesting using the law of attraction. So this video is going to be a sort of fun story time video that I just wanted to share. So many of you have probably heard of the spiritual teacher named Teal Swan. I have followed her for a long time. I don't necessarily watch her stuff. Um, anymore, but I do think she's a good spiritual teacher and she has taught me a lot, especially when I was in my darkest times. And she has a collection of merchandise that is for sale on her website, and it's all of her art that she's created called Frequency Paintings, which uh, resonate at a certain vibration for certain things such as like joy or love or inner peace. And I have loved these frequency paintings for so long. I've seen them all over Instagram on her page and I wanted to get some stuff. So I was in need of a new jacket at the time before it's before summer. And I wanted to order this really beautiful jacket that she had on the website with her frequency painting on it. And I went to go place an order online for this jacket. And a month later, I realized it still hadn't arrived and I hadn't gotten any kind of communication or messages or emails telling me what was going on with it, if it had shipped or anything like that. So I had emailed the support team for Teal Swan and I let them know that I had ordered it a month ago and it still hasn't even shipped. So then they apologized and looked into it, got back to me and said, unfortunately that jacket and pretty much all the jackets with the zippers were no longer for sale. So I guess they were discontinued. So I was really bummed because I wanted that jacket and all they had were hoodies and I don't necessarily like hoodies or um, the other style jackets they had. And because I had already paid with a card that ended up getting canceled because the bank told us that there was some kind of fraudulent charge, I couldn't get the money back on the card that I had initially used. And they told me that I could use a gift card. So I looked around the website and found some different things that I wanted to use the gift card on. And right at that time, my purse had started falling apart. So I had picked out a purse. I also got some tarot cards it's my first tarot deck. And then I got this shirt that stood for financial freedom. And it had like a compass and all kinds of cool stuff on the design. And what I had noticed after I placed the order was that I forgot to change the size of the shirt that I wanted to order because um, this was for myself. And the size I needed was an extra large, but I accidentally just left it as a small, which is just the size that it was on uh, before you change it. So I emailed the person back on the support team and I said, hey, I just placed this order and I accidentally forgot to change the size to extra large and um, it defaulted to a small. Can you change that and send me the correct size shirt before it ships? And unfortunately he got back to me and said that they there was no way they could change the size for whatever reason, so it would have to be sent to me that way. And so, again, <laughs> I was bummed and I was like, oh well, um, maybe I, I've thought of a friend that I think is maybe a size small, so I was just going to see if she liked the shirt and if she wanted it, then I would just ship it to her. And then after that thought, I was thinking, wait, I am a powerful creator. I am a powerful manifester. I'm like, I practice the law of attraction all the time. So I'm going to set an intention. 
And so what I did was I said to the universe, I intend to manifest an extra large shirt. And then I left it at that. And this was like a week before it actually got delivered. So I let it go and I already forgot about it by the time that my um, items arrived. So when I got them, I was super excited and I'll show you what they look like real quick. So this is what a teal swan frequency painting looks like. I forget what this one stands for, but I thought it was really pretty. So I got this bag. And then it also has the same design on the frequency tarot cards that I got. Here's two of the cards to give you another um, visual example. Like this is what integration looks like. And this is what joy looks like. And whenever you stare at the paintings or the pictures, it's supposed to help attune your vibration to the frequency that it represents. So like joy and integration, right? So I opened those two things and I'm really happy. Uh, they came out great. So then I go to open the shirt that I ordered. And remember what those frequency paintings look like. They're all pretty, like you can tell it's Teal Swan. So I open the shirt package and I get this. And I'm like, this is not the shirt I ordered. <laughs> because the shirt I ordered was financial freedom and it was supposed to look like this on a black t-shirt. That's all it was, right? So I'm looking at the shirt and I'm like, I don't even know what this is. This doesn't even look like a teal swan shirt. And sure enough, I go to look and the label is something totally different. Bella and Canvas. I've never heard of that brand before. <laughs> but lo and behold, I go to look at the size and wait for it. Is that going to focus? Oh my gosh, please focus. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's not focusing, but that is an XL. That is an extra large. Maybe I'll take a picture of it and stick it in. So I just laughed to myself because I was like, oh my gosh, I totally manifested the correct size shirt, but I didn't manifest the right shirt or even the right brand or anything like that. So I felt like it was a reminder of how powerful I am and that I am a master manifester but also a reminder to be very specific, as specific as possible with details whenever you're manifesting something. And my intention is not to uh, scare people or um, have them fearful when manifesting or uh, being stressed out and trying to be perfect with it, like striving for this perfection of making sure you got every little detail right for what you want. That, that's not the point of it at all. I mean, when you manifest something that's not exactly what you wanted, maybe it has some of the aspects of what you asked for, but it doesn't have others, you don't have to settle for it. You don't have to take it. If you get the wrong shirt, you can send it back. I personally did not send this back because I had already gone back and forth so many times with the support team and they didn't even respond to my last message. So I was just kind of done. And then with being on the road, it's kind of troublesome sometimes. Like I was traveling a lot to find a place to get it shipped in time. And then I would have had to take it back and it just would have been this huge hassle. And because it was an extra large and I thought the shirt was kind of cute, I just decided to keep it. And um, I'm just out like 20 bucks for the shirt I actually wanted, which isn't too bad. So I'm not like, a, I'm not that upset about it. I'm not upset at all, actually. So yeah, you can always try again. Um, take it back, send it back. Don't take it at all if it's not what you want. And when you have your manifestation list and you already have the details in there, you can always add more as you go, as you think of certain things. Like if you're manifesting a partner and you thought of certain attributes and you thought of certain attributes you didn't think of before and you want to add them to your list, you can. You can take things off, like you can scratch it out if it's something you decide that you don't want later on before it manifests. So it's all entirely up to you. And I know there's going to be some people who are going to say or think, well, that's just a coincidence. Why are you making a video about it? It's not a big deal. But for me, these coincidences, which I don't believe in, happen to me a lot like a lot 
and I'm practicing this daily with setting intentions and with manifesting and it just is quick a lot of times and I don't share all of them um, especially the smaller ones but I do share the ones that uh, like this one that I thought was funny or things or certain manifestations that are bigger or just uh, I learned certain lessons from them. All right, that's all I have for today. I hope this video was helpful and hopefully inspiring um, to show you kind of just, <laughs> just it's just so cool how the world works, in my opinion. It's, it never ceases to fascinate me. And just a reminder also, like I said, to be as specific and detailed as you can be with your manifestations <laughs> because sometimes it only manifests partially what you want. Okay, everyone, as always, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.